Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news. It's old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello, Freedom Family. My name is Entity, and you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to It's Entity for running today's Rehash introduction. If you guys would be really cool like that guy, make sure to submit your Rehash introduction down below via the description. And no matter what this guy says, make sure you open it gently. Do not rip the description open. We need to make sure that it's there for tomorrow's video. So you didn't do that, whatever? I do! Very short and sweet. Ding dong, Google Plus is dead! <laughs> I want to talk to the Freedom Family about Windows 10 for free. Windows 10 for free? Okay, I wish I could top that. What if I told you that the Fast Company recently named Whataburger yeah. its best hamburger in the country, in the it, U.S.? It's the truth, I agree. But it's official now. And then uh, you had a news you type whatever. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about good people doing good deeds with phones. Not dirty deeds done with sheep? Maybe. I've never heard of that. You never heard that song? No. Awesome song. So as we talked about in the previous section where we talk about what we're going to talk about, I don't know what we call that the section. The awesomeness. Oh, the awesomeness section. Yeah. There you go. So in the awesomeness section, we uh, kind of talked about Google Plus being dead. And it's true-ish. It's yeah. dying. They're, they're deintegrating it from YouTube and several other services. Full article in the description where you can check that out. Now, this comes at the heels of many YouTubers making videos uh, like that one. And if you click that eye, now that video is actually a kind of a parody spoof video where I go way overboard um, and demonstrate something called a Poe. Yeah. Not even going to explain that one. It's for the smart people. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people yeah. made videos like that one, and... Yeah, so did I. Yeah, I actually made one. You did? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, finally we got what we wanted. I mean, I've came to like Google+, Plus, but I just don't like it being affiliated with my YouTube channel. Thing I was, like it separately. The thing was, it, it caused a lot of spam for a right. lot of users, put a lot of people in potentially harm's way mm -hmm. by forcing them to use their real name. Right. Also, it caused a lot of people to use just... A fake first and last name, not yes. even their real name. So it, it, the whole thing has been defeated. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, though I, I think um, hopefully we we won't see anybody saying that Bob got his way. Do you remember oh, Bob? Oh, I got it with the tank. Yes, yes. I hated that. I am Bob. This is my tank. We're going <laughs> yeah. Those are going to be in the comments. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, if you can find Bob, put him in our comments. I'd love to feature him in an episode <laughs> of Rehash. Yep. Um. And you had a news tab with Yeah, so I want to talk to the Freedom Family about Windows 10 being for free for the next day when you guys are seeing this when it's uploaded. So Windows 10 is a new operating system that you guys can go redeem for free right now if you guys are on Windows 7 and or 8. It's, it's so easy. It was mind-boggling. Now, I knew about this for a while, but I never redeemed Windows 10 because I thought it was a lengthy process. You got to sign up. And or that you would end up having to pay for it. Yeah, I just don't like it. You know, there was so many you know, miscommunications that I had, but Anthony showed me. Literally had to do it in two seconds. You click the Windows button on the bottom right by the task menu, and you click Redeem. And it takes two now, seconds. Now, this will only work for you if you have Windows Update fully updated um, and, you know, fairly current. If you're on Windows 7 and 8. Yeah. Or 7 and 8.1 or something like that. But they fix all kinds of amazing things, such as the horrific... You know, the Metro Windows. interface? Yes, I ah. So they fixed that, they fixed various bugs and optimization improvements. So it really wouldn't hurt to upgrade. So now, uh, they're doing this in part because one of their major competitors, Linux, yeah. um, is free! Yeah. To, uh, and so they're, you know, they're having to do a lot to keep up with the times because their, their model... It doesn't work anymore. Right? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to, to do unless they get a big user base going, Windows 10 is awesome! Right. So if you want to benefit because of you know their um, their marketing plan, which is what this is, um, before Wednesday, the 29th-ish, yeah. I think? Um, yeah, on Wednesday of this week, you can go ahead and redeem your key without actually having to... Um, to upgrade yet. So you can actually give yourself a little bit of time. Right. Go ahead and prepare yourself. Yeah. Um, I do have a newsy tap, whatever. What if I told you that there's an official authority on the best hamburger in the States? Really? It's called the Fast Company. Okay. And they have done something that we'll both agree. Now, anyone who's visited my vlogging channel, especially while I was moving here to uh, the Philippines will know I have a love affair with Whataburger. Oh, yes, Whataburger. I lived in Amarillo, Texas for like two months at one point in my life, and Whataburger was like the the 
main food I lived off of because yeah. they were just so darn good. Yeah, see, I lived by Fort Worth, Texas, and it was literally right down the road. Go down the road, get an amazing burger. It's not that expensive. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So apparently, uh, the rest of the country agrees with the two of us, mm -hmm. and they have named um, Whataburger as the best hamburger in the States. If you've never had Whataburger and you have one near you, go check it out. It's a darn good burger. Um, and I also wanted to know from you, the Freedom Family, what's your favorite hamburger um, or fast food, or if maybe you're in a country where hamburger isn't a thing, what's just your favorite thing to eat ever? But wait a minute, wasn't there just one more thing? What was it? Something about a phone? Oh, I, that's right. I actually wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about good guys doing good deeds. So recently, a guy and his fiance or his girlfriend were out on a trip. They were going to do some photography, some base jumping, and they just so happened to peek over a cliff and see a phone way off in the distance. But they wanted to do a good deed. So not only did they make an amazing video, so the guy repelled down the side of the mountain, which took him ages. Not only was it just, you know, time consuming, it was frustrating, he repelled down the side of the mountain, picked the phone up, repelled back up, and, he, and then on top of that, he made an amazing video that you guys can watch down below. It's just hilarious. I think the guy should become a YouTuber. Like, the videos are great. And the thing is, he actually found the girl, too. Right, so the purpose of the video was meant so he could contact the girl. He had no idea who she was, what her name was, so he made a video for her. And it just so happened that they got in contact. Also, I, I love the use of humor that he put into the video. Uh, if you want a good laugh and maybe to feel all the feels, yeah. link in the description to where you can see that. That's all of our stuff for today. Yeah, I all think right. so. Well, um, I guess now we get to talk about the comments. Let's go. James, can you stop and restart your camera for me? Comment number one comes from Game Destroyers, who says, Was there a storm happening when you started recording? Sounds like there were a few rumbles of thunder in the video. Or was it the offices around you having work done in them? I like his critical thinking skills. But it was actually a thunderstorm. Now, we're in the Philippines, and there this is the rainy season, and it was either dealing with that or not getting a rehash yesterday. And that can happen. We actually put rehash off in filming a few hours hoping the storm would pass, and that's why actually yesterday there was no music in the video too. I didn't have time to search and find music and stuff. Yeah, so for the most part, I mean, it rains fairly often, like almost every single day or every other day here. Yeah. And you had a comment? Yeah, so comment number two, it just does this cool, comes from YZXS. Pretty unique username. YZXS. Yeah, so he says, you guys are weird, dot, 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 I love it. It's true, I'm a pretty weird guy, you know? Is that a reference to the McDonald's story that we did? Like, I'm loving it. Like, you guys are weird. Like that? No, more like, instead of, I, I love it. I, oh, I love it. It was supposed to be a really bad joke, but... Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I get it now. But nonetheless, that was comment number two. You had comment number three. Comment number three comes from Terra Frost, who says, can you both say, what are you doing right now? Just maybe Are you mocking me? Yes. I do a pretty good job at it sometimes. <sighs> All right. So, let me start this again, and I'm going to watch you so you can't do it. Comment number three comes from Terra Frost, who says, Can you both say, the melon has departed from the candy hanger at the same time in a creepy tone? All right. Let's try this. The, the melon, melon has, has departed from the candy hanger. That's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, that wraps up the comment section for today. Um, let us know in the comment section down below if there are any questions you want answered. Um, as you could probably tell, we are not above answering silly questions, but we also like serious ones as well. Yeah. Um, and then, I guess now is about time to talk about... The partner! Let's go! What's with your foot? The partner. That's not... Okay. Thank you so much to It's Entity for providing today's rehash introduction. As per usual, we'll talk about you guys towards the end of today's video. So let's talk about It's Entity. Now, I honestly aspire to be this kid. I mean, the guy is so young, he has so much talent, he puts a lot of work and effort into his contents. Something I'm not a huge fan of, though, is the logo and banner. I, I know you, you've changed me on that. You know, the thing about the logo and the banner is it does feel like a very vloggy thing to me. Yeah. It doesn't like it doesn't really say to me this guy does shooter games. Yeah. It doesn't really say this guy does Call of Duty. It it's 
I can't put it into words. Right, so maybe like, for example, I'm not saying be like everybody else or mimic other Call of Duty content creators, but for example, on my personal channel, I have a YouTube banner with like Call of Duty characters, shooting and whatnot, so I mean, there's something that you could easily do. Maybe take like a, a soldier and put your face on it. Try to, try to do something that mimics game. Or maybe place a, a background behind you instead of just white that yeah, looks, that maybe. resembles that, and maybe wear a pair of sunglasses or that maybe... I don't know. Use your imagination. Your current branding isn't horrible. It's not like the worst I've ever seen. However, I do feel that it could cause some confusion with people coming to check you out for the first time. And the only other concern I have with regards to this guy's channel is the thumbnails. I actually really like them, but sometimes the text is a little hard to see. I, I kind of feel like the text is behind a layer that he's yeah. using to change the color. Mm. I really feel like that text should be on top and a different color, uh, a complementary color from his, um, from his, uh, what do you call it? His, his foreground, the background? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, for instance, if he's tinting the entire thumbnail, say, blue, a good complementary color would probably be, like, yellow or right, purple exactly. or black. Yeah, so apart from that, I mean, that's the only cons I've had to this guy's channel. Now, I know there's a few other concerns. I don't know if you wanted to cover them or not. Um, main thing that I really wanted to touch on is the, the lack of a proper channel trailer. Um, it's Currently, he's using just a regular video, and it just doesn't make me... It doesn't really give me the information I would need to want to subscribe. I mean, it's a fine video, it, it, but it doesn't really stand on its own as a reason for me to be like, Oh my goodness, this guy is out there! <laughs> yeah, this is great. And then last but not least, the descriptions. The guy has a default upload read description. So, I mean, as a YouTube content creator, it's so important when you're starting out to utilize every single thing you can, be it the descriptions, tags, titles, thumbnails, try to utilize every single output of your YouTube channel so you can rank videos. One and thing that I kind of like about this guy's description yeah. is the fact that even though I am personally not a fan of it, hmm. one thing I really like, he utilizes the first three lines, and on the third yes. line, he he has a really funny way of trying to get you to open up the rest of the description to see his links and whatnot. Mm. He's just like, read more for a Skittle. No, <laughs> right. it's the silliest thing, but it worked on me. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it works on a lot of people. It's just being unique like that. So the guy has a lot of talent. If you guys want to go check him out, open the description down below. You don't have to rip it. I know a lot of you guys have been breaking it recently. Uh, we can't break it. Yeah, we don't want to break it. Would it be nice to it, especially on the Freedom Channel, nonetheless? Go to his channel trailer and spam him with the hashtag, hashtag rehash. rehash. Yeah. Okay, well, that pretty much wraps everything up today, yeah. doesn't it? For today. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that description. Woo! The melon has departed from the candy hangar.